So what we have here is a really cool keyboard by Logitech and it's called G213 Prodigy RGB keyboard it has 16.8 million color options that you can change on your keyboard lights so this is really cool I've never actually owned any of these before so this is my first time actually owning one and unpacking one this used to be $69.99 now it's on sale for 50 bucks it's an unbelievable deal for this type of keyboard there's a link in the description if you're interested and since this is a special occasion for me I decided to make a video about it of unpacking and testing we're gonna see the colors in action guys so stick around for that I'm going to unpack this so you guys can see what to expect when it comes to this type of keyboard so let's go ahead and start opening it up looks like it's opened from this side there's a little we got a little tape action here so I'm going to cut that open so we can get to it then we're going to open this bad boy up guys I'm super excited about this because I've never had a light up keyboard before just to show you real quick what it says on the back of this box it says it's two millisecond response time which is tuned for ultra quick responsive feedback with every keystroke it's four times faster than standard keyboard and has anti ghosting gaming matrix is to keep you in control when you press multiple gaming keys simultaneously so these there's virtually no lag when it comes to the input of this keyboard again we have 16.8 million RGB lighting color options that you can choose from and it's spill proof we also have onboard play and pause type of media controls all right let's open it up I'm gonna slide this open like so I'm gonna flip it back over so you guys can see here's the magic moment all right it's actually pointing this way so I'm gonna flip it around so, so far it looks all right. I ripped the, this by myself accidentally, so that's no big deal. Now let's pop this open. Looks like the uh, USB cable is here. It looks like it has some kind of protection on it, which is actually really cool. Wrapping around it that makes it extra durable so you don't actually tug on it or pull it or rip it. So that's really cool. I do like this so far. It's packed in this, uh, what looks like uh, I thought it was anti-static, but it's not. It's just a regular bag. We do have some basic instructions that we're going to look at here in a moment, but let's have a look at the keyboard itself first. I'm going to unpack it. Looks like you just pull on these self-adhesive pack in the back, package in the back. And as I am pulling that out, you can see there is there are standoffs. I'm just going to put this box aside since we don't need it anymore. So it looks like we on the back we have some standoffs. So I'm going to pop them like that because I do like to use them. It does have rubber here for anti-slippage here. And this whole thing is rubber as well. So I do like that. One thing I hate is when I try to move my keyboard and it moves. We don't want that. This is why we have all this extra rubber to keep us steady, guys. All right. So... Once we flip it over, we can see that it has these keys. You can hear the keys. I'm going to shut up for a second. It does have this palm rest or wrist rest, if you will, for the wrist rest action. We have a standard layout when it comes to keyboard. They do feel pretty good. They feel kind of like textual or uh, what was the word for it that I'm looking for? Uh, Tactile, almost feels tactile. It's sort of like a rubber coating on it. Um, looks like this will light up. This looks like an LED that will light up. We'll certainly look at that. And here we have some LEDs as well. I'm assuming this is just for regular number lock, scroll lock, and caps lock, and probably something else we will check out in a moment. This looks like a joystick button. We'll see what that does. I'm assuming maybe for some kind of macros that you can set up. Here's a light button that I guess changes the darkness or maybe even the color of these. We'll check that out as well. We got uh, fast forward, backwards, stop and play and pause buttons. We got mute button here and we got the volume button here as well. This simple instruction, all it says is just to plug it into the USB port and that, that's all there is to it. So here's the keyboard connect. You can see right off the bat that it's changing color on its own, just cycling through the colors, which I may actually leave like that. So I'm hoping there are some customization that I'm going to try to see inside the computer once I download some drivers. But you can see it's cycling. The LED is coming on really nicely. All of these are light up 
quite quite nicely. You can also see that this last notification is for the game mode. So if I press the game mode, it will cycle it on. Let me see if this turns off the colors on and off. So if you want it turned off, you can certainly do that. So this is pretty cool. This is self-explanatory. This is just volume, just volume up and down and mute button. Doesn't change color or anything like that. At least not for now. I'm going to check to see if there's any setting within the drivers that I can download. I'm going to I'm going to go to their website and see what is there available. Right now we have number lock turned on, caps lock, scroll lock. The feel of the buttons reels really good. I've never had a keyboard like this, so this is really exciting for me. I really feel like the it's light, but at the same time I feel that there is something there that I can really feel when it comes to the tactile feel of it. I really like that. So this is what it looks like with lights off. It looks like it's pretty bright. You can see, hopefully the camera picks it up really well. All right, let's have a look at the driver and see what we can change, see what we can see if there's any customization available for it. So according to their website for G213, we need to download specific hardware for it. And here's a little bit about it. It says it's gaming grid performance, light sync RGB, spill resistant and durable, integrated palm rest and adjustable feet, which is pretty cool, dedicated media control, buttons customized with Logitech gaming software. So I need to download this G hub in order to control the lights on it. I'm going to go ahead and just simply click download. We're going to see what happens and how easy it is to install this. I have downloaded it already and I'm going to just execute to install it. So once you install the software and drivers, you can see that a couple of different things come up. The keyboard itself and also my camera that is also Logitech. So that's pretty cool. Looks like you control some aspects when it comes to LED matching and syncing. This could also be done with other Logitech hardware like speakers so if you buy speakers you can also sync them with your keyboard um, camera and everything else that you have um, there are some lightning effects that you can see here if you click on the on the left hand high so let me just show you here so if you go and click on see the newest lighting effects you can download some of the profiles that were created for specific games this and that however the main thing i've noticed that you can do right away with this keyboard is if you click on the keyboard itself you can see that there are some presets you can see you can change it to fixed color cycle color wave breathing screen sampler and you can do also audio visualizer so this one actually pretty cool screen sampler is basically it appeared to be using your windows settings to change the color options which i kind of like so i'm going to leave it at that for a second uh, the next thing you can click on is freestyle which allows you to change the color of different zones and in total there are five zones that you can change here's one two three four five and i'll show you what happens when you customize those so if you go here and select for example i don't know let's change it to some kind of red color here this is sort of like burgundy as far as i can tell with my eyes and then i'm just going to click in the zone here zone one you see how it changed right here zone two and then zone three it changed it to that and it's actually changing that on my keyboard live as we are speaking as well and then let's say we want these keys to be a little bit different you know you can select just some some of these uh, presets or you can you know go over here and change it to whatever you want so let's use some kind of a let's do some kind of a hardcore contrast and go with this royal blue of sort i'm going to select that to be that and we can change these orange ones to something else so for that let's just go to go to and let's do some crazy like this lime green like and this is exactly what happens when you do that this is changing real time on your keyboard so that's pretty cool if you want to customize that. Unfortunately, with this keyboard, it appears to be entry-level RGB keyboard for, you know, because it's only 50 bucks at this time, it's on sale. Uh, you can't, does, I, can't, I didn't find an option to change keys individually, which is kind of unfortunate, but this is what you get for a $50 keyboard. And uh, I'm okay with that, you know. So I think I'm just going to select the preset of screen sampler for now because I'm kind of old school like that. And this way it just kind of takes on the color of my Windows settings and that I'm okay with that for now. Later on, I might change it to something else and you can do so as well. If you select the game mode here, you can disable certain keys on the keyboard. For example, Windows key, which allows you to basically block them. So let's say you're doing some hardcore gaming 
or whatnot and you don't want to accidentally hit the windows key because that brings the windows option that brings this up this is what happens and that kind of takes away from the game itself and now you're no longer controlling the game you control windows so if you want to disable that you can certainly do so so that's pretty cool assignments okay here we go here's already assignments if you click the plus button here you can see that there are different commands uh, shortcuts that it tells you these are by the way for example you know left windows key plus m minimizes all windows this is something that's already within the windows themselves this they just kind of tell you what these shortcuts are that you may not be aware of so if you want to be more proficient using windows you can certainly look at all of these and that's pretty useful you know basic stuff like for example control c copy control a select all so that's pretty cool and you can change those to something else if you really wanted to so it does give you these customization options that are there you can change the keys themselves as well um, and there are some options if you want to do that so that's going to be up to you you can change it to do some certain actions so if you for example set the keys to do i don't know f2 f1 or what f3 or f4 you can change them to to launch excuse me some of the applications that you want to set up there so you can launch application with the shortcuts instead of you having to go through the menus next thing we have is macros so you can create a macro if we collect if we select uh, create a new macro we're just gonna call it new test you know you can call it whatever you want and here you can set up different macros so basically what happens is uh, key combinations that you'll want to execute with you know in a sequence or toggle repeat while holding or no repeat so this is something that is really cool if you want to use it in games or anything else or some kind of work that you do and you just want to hit the macro and it's just going to execute all the sequences so it's sort of like programming at kind of a lower level you know what i mean not actually using a program programming uh, software but using the key commands on your keyboard that will execute that so let's say you're playing a game and you want to do something real quick and you just hit a button you know or just hold the button and it repeats doing that and all that stuff you guys know what i'm talking about so next thing we have is a system here you can also launch application using system as well and you can certainly uh, customize all of this as well drag a system control onto a target to assign to this volume so you can see there are some actions that you can assign um, target to so for example you want to volume up stop um, you know anything that you want to do you can create here and assign it to all of these keys you know same kind of same as we when we looked at the keys up here you can certainly do the same thing when it comes to system here so it's kind of more of the same thing but it gives you more customization all right guys if you like this video please let me know and uh, let me know if you have any questions i'll gladly answer them for you if you like this keyboard there is a link in the description box as well if you do purchase it through that link it does support me directly so i appreciate you and thank you very much all right guys share this video with your buddies leave a like and I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.